All right, everybody, welcome back to the apiary. So it's been seven and a half hours, so now it's graft time. So I published a video on how to make up the starter uh, this morning, and that video is live, so that's gonna be a separate uh, video that you may have already watched. And this is gonna be the beginning of the grafting video, but I wanna kinda catch you up if you didn't see the starter video. We built this starter colony this morning. The queen down below, she's at the very bottom, below a queen excluder. This second box has got five frames in it with some brood to kind of get the nurse bees to come up through the queen excluder with some resources on it. And now we have a double screen board here underneath the starter box, which is on top. The double screen board makes this top box queenless. There's an entrance on the back, so it's a free flying, so drones can get, get out or older forage bees, foragers can get out and they can free fly out of here. Uh, but I added a lot of bees in here and we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, and even after that video ended, I was uh, doing some other hive work and I added even more bees. So if you did watch the other video, there's more bees in here than you've even seen. I did one other thing. I got my cell bar ready with all of my queen cups on it. Um, and I put them uh, all together and that cell bar is in here so that the nurse bees could polish it up if they wanted to. Basically clean up the cell bars uh, is one. It's a tip, a trick technique, but not required. You can use fresh plastic uh, cells is, is just fine. And then I pulled out, um, obviously, a graft frame out of a hive over there. It was one of my uh, hives that had very low mite counts at the end of winter, and uh, I found a frame with just larva and eggs on it. There was not even any cap brood on it, and I put it in here. So there's food, there's resources, uh, lots of nurse bees. Um, my larva frame is over here on the left and my cell bar is over here on the left. So what I have to do right now is open the hive, get my cell bar out, and I can shake the cell bar, brush it off if I need to, but then I need to pull the larva frame out nice and slow, and I need to take my bee brush, and I need to brush the bees off of that frame. You do not want to shake your larva, your grafting larva frame because you don't want to dislodge those tiny little larvae into the bottom of the cells from gravity of a shake. You want them to be right where they are, suspended in the bottom of the cell, not at the gravity bottom of the cell. I think you understand what I'm saying. You don't want to shake the uh, larva loose from their little jelly pool that they're in right now. So I'm going to leave the camera running while I open this up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the, uh, the grafting bar out and then uh, shake off shake, I even said it, brush off the bees from the larva frame. I'm gonna run them inside and then I'll bring the camera inside and then uh, we'll, we'll show you some grafting. All right, you ready to open it up? Let's see what we got. I may or may not have to hood up on this, but just to kind of show you, this is very heavy. Look at the bees, see the, best, the bees festooning? That's exactly what you want, right? You, you want lots and lots of bees. Now, I can very gently slide this over and just expose these two frames uh, without even just, you know, give them a little bit of smoke. Not too much. This frame is my cell bar and I can shake it down. You can see there's my cell bar with all the bees and they're working, they're definitely working it, right? You know, um, Set it to the side. That's not quite as important as this frame. This is the frame that I'm grafting from. Something fell behind me. It's getting a little breezy out here. Okay, so see all those nurse bees just hanging on this frame? They are taking care of those larvae that I am getting ready to graft from. So just a gentle brush. That's one side, and I'm doing this, uh, maybe I can do it so you can see a little bit too. These larvae can't stay out in this cold very long, so I'm gonna go run these inside, and then I'll come back and grab you with the camera. Be right back. All right, everybody, we're inside the barn shed. I've got my larva frame, my uh, graft frame in here. Um, 
talk you through a couple different things of what we got to do. I don't worry about these last few little bees. If you want to get all the bees off, you definitely could have brushed them off. Um, magnification. At my age, I have to have some sort of magnification. This is one type. You can double it up. You can get even more. Um, these are the kind I'm talking about wearing here. Um, now, I made this little rest frame here. This is nothing fancy. I don't have any plans for it. So if you're going to ask me for the plans, I don't have any. Um, now, the important thing to recognize is these cells, as you know, honeycomb is not straight out from the frame. It tilts up just a little bit. You need light up and behind you looking straight down into the cells. And the reason you tilt this up is you want these cells pointing straight up into the light. So I'm looking straight down in uh, at the larva and I see lots of perfect larva on this side. And nice, good looking larva on this side. I might even take some from both sides just to, uh, you know, have a good example of the bees. Now, these are my cell bars. Each of them has 15 on them. This is old royal jelly from a few years ago. I keep it in the freezer. Can even dilute it with a little bit of water. I like to have just a touch of royal jelly in each cell so that there's a little bit, of, it's called priming your cells, just so there's a little bit of surface tension for the egg or the larva to stick to when you use your grafting tool to get it in here. This is a technique not required. Um, there's a lot of information on how to do this. The way to have royal jelly is when you find swarm cells to not just throw them away if you're pulling them off. Take that royal jelly out of those cells and put them in a tiny little jar or a pill box inside of your freezer um, and it'll, it'll keep just fine. So I'm just going to keep priming these all up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, the cells are all primed. A couple other tools I have here. I've got grafting tools. This is the Chinese style grafting tool. I got a couple extras and I've got a moist towel. This is uh, not necessarily required for today's weather, but if you're doing this outside and hot and humid, after you graft the full bar, it's, it's a technique to put them underneath them to keep the humidity in there until you get them back in the hive. I just wanted to have that here to show you how I would use this um, as we go along. Now, you need some sort of way of remembering where you put them, but um, this is how I go. So now as I'm looking in these cells, trying to get the right distance on this focal magnification. Yeah. And typically they, they're, they're the same size in a, in a ring. So you'll find larva of the exact same size all in a ring and they make a nice little C shape. Almost the smallest larva you could see. If they've hatched and you can get them on that little grafting tool, grab them. All right, you get to watch me now.
done. So I got all three bars done and I don't know if you watched that whole thing or if I fast forwarded or how I did that, but the very first ones, I was kind of rusty. I hadn't done this in a year. You only do this once a year, but at the end of it, I was just grabbing them very quickly. So this is three times 18 uh, larva successfully grafted from a perfect grafting frame. I mean, black uh, foundation, very fresh cells, plenty of royal jelly. Having a little bit of extra royal jelly definitely helps, but it's not required. Um, yeah, so now um, all we got to do, time is, I don't want to say of the essence, but we, we don't want to dilly-dally now because we need to get these larvae into those nurse bees out there as quickly as possible. So I am going to put this cell bar together, drag you out there with me, and um, we are going to install this. Now, one thing to remember is while we pulled out this grafting frame from the starter, it is not going back in the starter because every one of these larvae in here could be turned into a queen cell, and we don't want them to do that. We want these larvae hanging vertically in our cells to be the ones that they choose to use. So that is just kind of how we're doing this. Um, if you do have a little bit of a, a frame bar with a little bit of a loose spot, wax is your friend. You just get some tiny little bits of wax and uh, lodge it in there and that'll go. So we're going to take both of these out there. I'm going to drag you with me um, and then uh, I'll reset the camera and show you what we do. Stick with me. All right, we're out here. Uh, first priority is our queen cells. So I am not going to worry about those other larvae for a second. Now we need to put this in the middle of this chamber. So I've got to shake this whole thing off now to get those festooning bees down. And right in the middle is where this bar is going. Checking on the sugar water. They've got plenty of sugar water. That is almost a wrap. I do want these frames tight. You see that little gap there? Just keeping it tight. 